Alright everybody, welcome to your 10th WordPress theme development tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be starting off with the header portion of our website. And if I look into PSD, some things I realize is that I need a 960 pixel sort of grid for the header purpose for the inner one and the red color of the header spans on the whole page. Then we need a placeholder for this logo. Alright and finally we would require a menu sort of thing for besides the logo so let's get started now first of all what I want to do in header.php is uh, write some content let's just say this is doc type HTML then I have HTML head and head I have meta car set UTF-8 yes you can make use of that block info function as well for this one then next I have something like in title then inside body I have stuff like let's just say um, header and it would be great if we could actually just put everything inside oh let's just leave it anyways so it would be good with header only so for header this would define our red color thing so we need to have a grid so let's just say this is n60 and I'm not gonna make use of bootstrap or anything because uh, you know why just include a bunch of files when you just need grid system which you can actually build yourself in a few CSS lines then for with an n60 I want a div ID of logo and uh, div and for now I'm just gonna write it myself but later on we're gonna see how you can just make it more dynamic so that any user can edit it from WordPress dashboard only without messing up with code okay so the next thing is that we need to make this menu somehow now it would be trivial in HTML because you just have to start writing UL and LI and this then customize it with CSS but with WordPress obviously you would want a bit of you know more dynamicness and customizability because WordPress do provides you with something known as menus here and the reason why menus are pretty much not appearing right now is that because we haven't added support for them yet and WordPress do require you to pretty much add uh, a support or basically inform WordPress for anything which you require for your theme so let's do that in sublime just go to your functions.php and uh, just open your php bag and say that add theme whoa, support and for the feature I want is menus so it's gonna do that for you now reload and you can see that you got menus right here so now you can go ahead and do that now if you have uh, just started that support it would show you a blank thing so let's just say this is my primary menu and just create a menu and uh, just add a sample page and uh, pretty much on home page also so let's just say theme.com home let's add this one so here we go alright so we are done here and the next thing is that in other themes you might have looked at in theme locations you get things like primary header menu or secondary header menu footer header menu so how do that work well to make that work what you need to do is pretty much say register nav menu and as it popped up we need to pass in two arguments the location one let's the location be primary and uh, the description would be something which would be shown here so if I say like primary header menu navigation and save this reload and uh, pretty much you can see that in theme locations I get this primary header menu navigation and if I can check that and save menu we'll be good to go so you could just add pretty much some more like secondary and just main footer all that stuff but I'm gonna leave it with primary only so what you have uh, seen here is that we just did this 
code without in any function usage or something so when you grow your template make it more you know like add a lot of code you would like to keep a record of where you have you know just hooked in menu or registered menus and that would kind of make it more you know easy to customize and pretty much organize your code so what we can do here is create a function which would say like uh, theme option setup and inside here I can just indent this code a little bit and down here what I want to do is add action and I want to run this function theme option setup whenever my theme is initialized so this would run whenever the theme is initialized and the initialization phase would be before the user interaction phase so you are pretty sure that every time the user is browsing your theme uh, browsing WordPress uh, administrator area with your theme active then the menu support would be already available before any user interaction so this is the function name and the next two we don't need them for now so I'm just gonna leave it to here only and if you reload pretty much nothing changes because you know we have just organized our code instead of doing anything so inside header.php obviously we don't want HTML body to be closed because that's something footer would do so there we go and inside index.php we need to include uh, uh, our header and footer and uh, one more thing I forgot to do here is that say php wp head and right here in index I'm gonna say get header and get footer uh, let's just see if that works you can see that uh, we get honor as the name but that's the only thing we have on the documentation uh, the, the, the theme right now so to add a menu to header what I'm gonna do is right here I'm gonna say PHP WP nav menu and this would be primary and uh, are we missing something oh yeah question mark so this would be the WP nav menu would be the function which would call a menu based on its name right here which you specified uh, not here but actually right here so if you just create like a secondary and uh, you know footer menu as well so you can just output that in footer and uh, wherever you want secondary to be so let's reload this you can see we get sample page as the uh, output so wait a minute this is my menu structure so this is sample page and uh, new post title save this menu reload you can see I get a couple of items here so this is still far far away from looking like this so but pretty much we have got the dynamic feature for at least the navigation for now and uh, why not let's just make it home donations gallery something like that so let's just get rid of this so for custom links I'm gonna say home then for donations then for gallery then we want sermons sermons then for events and pages and shop pages and the shop so here we go save this menu and uh, you'll be good to go so if you just look in the structure how WordPress laid this down you can see that WordPress provided us pretty much a lot of 
things to do like you know uh, we have selectors like menu primary menu and class of menu uh, and with allies as well, as well we have a lot of customizability with CSS so that would be a plus point so that's how you pretty much add a support for menu and add it actually on your page and in the next tutorial I'm gonna create a real header out of it but the next one would be simply just sort of CSS and HTML gaming so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching